Hola, mi amigos! It is Rookie! It is time for part two of another... Can we call this indie adventure? I guess so. This is post-mortem. This is the standard edition, the free edition. Um, there's also the extended cut on Steam. Available right now for like $5.24, something like that. Pretty amazing. I decided to... Sorry, that scared the crap out of me. I decided to give this game a shot. You know, check it out, show you guys. You know, try it out. Uh, yeah, I already said try it out. So yeah, um, this is a game where it's very dialogue heavy. It seems I've been getting into those games a lot as of lately. But uh, it's basically a game where you uh, you make a decision. You make a decision, and your decision could change the fate of a war torn nation. Let's uh, let's see what lies ahead for this fictional place. Let me say. <laughs> I really don't know what else to say. Let's get started. Please proceed to your briefing. That's me, Joe Cool. The coolest of all the capitalists. Welcome to the postmortem. The room functions as a brief tutorial. Follow these guides to learn how to that light is not helping me. There we go. How to play the game or step through the doors to skip the, the, the tutorial. Press space to continue. You can read bind controls, okay. Da da da, ba da da. All right, so I can do that as well. All right, good. You can use E to interact. Let me just move the cursor out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see that right now. We'll move that. All right. You can use E to interact with the world like doors or furniture. Magnifying glass icon shows the objects that can be interacted with. Walk up to the table on the left and press is that a table? That's like a changing table. What the heck? Oh, I get it because the magnifying glass is on it. Hey, let's let's do it. Galicia. Galicia. Population, 1.9 million. A country in its early stages of industrialization, torn by almost five years of violent domestic conflict called the turmoil. Operative assigned. Pending review. Status incomplete. Gotcha. All right. Let's talk to others. Hey there, girl. How you doing? I don't know how there's a wall with somebody like you just hanging out around here. J shut up. Let's see. During conversation, use 1 through 9 on your number pad to make dialogue choices. Welcome. Yeah. Guess we're going with 1. The powers that demand be... Or, er, the, the powers... The powers that be... Demand you take one life tonight. Now, that's a great way to start. The choice is yours. Understood. Where are you sending me? Choice is mine? Um, where are you sending me? We're sending you to Galicia tonight. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I'm going with. How much do you know about the place? Not, not much. Well, no matter. You're not here to meddle with mortal affairs. Get in, pick a life, get out. Do be careful, however. The place is pretty unstable right now, with a violent civil conflict between the... New Age and Old Age groups. I have some questions. Oh dear, you're one of the inquisitive types. How did the conflict start? What is the conflict about? Hmm. How did the conflict start? It all started with an argument over some Galician traditions, and what defines a true Galician? Resulting in a beggar being shot. Anger and violence soon followed, quickly spreading and sweeping the country. This Baker Revolt, as they call it, really highlighted the ideological and economical struggle between the two factions. Anything else, or can we move on already? Uh... I want to ask a question about you, girl. Why, yes, let's grab some tea and biscuits and spend the next four hours chatting idly, because I do not have anything better to do tonight, right? Damn, cold. Cold just like this war. Fine, uh... What's the conflict about? There's two dimensions to the issue. First is the question of tradition and preserving the real Galician cultural heritage in the light of rapid industrial and economical progress. Second is the struggle between the wealthy business owners and their workers demanding better treatment and pay. The two dimensions seem to align themselves with New Agers on one side and Old Agers on the other. Who are the New Agers? Primarily wealthy businessmen and open-minded thinkers. They are in favor of rapid development. Progressive reforms and overall moving in the moving the country forward. 
They are criticized for abandoning their quick cultural past and exploiting their workers for quick profit. Sorry if my voice keeps changing. I'm not a voice actor, people. Mostly com the common workers and the older or rural folk. They speak of the need to preserve the Galician culture and defend the common man from exploitation. But many are seen as holding backwards in archaic views and slowing down the country's progress. Yeah, but you gotta have that original culture in order to, you know, really survive. Uh, I don't have any more questions, I guess, girl. It's been nice chatting with you. Good. The turmoil is why we are sending you to a fairly peaceful and safe gala. You know the type. High-profile fundraising event for some vandalized high school. Shouldn't be much trouble. But why was the school vandalized? I do not know, but I believe Rose Hill High is one of the few schools which refused to segregate students based on their beliefs and social status. Angry parents on both sides protested that policy rather directly. So lots of big and influential characters attending? Among others, it's an open event, so you might see people from all paths of life. Alright. In any case, don't get too involved. Just be prompt and efficient. We don't do overtime, you know. <sighs> One of those places. I already want to leave this freaking place. Uh, could my choice have a significant impact? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? This isn't some sort of game. You don't win a prize at the end. Just claim us a life tonight. Whatever works for you. Oh, and one more thing. Not that it matters, but what gender would you like to appear to the mortals? What? I'm not mortal? Was this mentioned before? <laughs> it's kind of kind of odd. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I like how I'm just gray man right now. I'll be a male. Poof. All done. Magic. Now go up ahead and then we'll transfer you. Understood. You can also use E to talk with others. Okay, I already got that. Can I go? You should move forward. This is forward. You can investigate various items and speak to characters in order to decide who to choose, or you can choose on a whim. Whatever you deem most fair. Well, alright, let's go this way. No, let's go. Press space to continue. Oh, I just gotta keep going. You can also bring your notebook by pressing Q or N. That will get filled with information you collect. Hey, try it now. Q. There we go. Let's go ahead and close that. Calithia. Country in its early stages of industrialization. Okay, I already read that. Uh, Rose Hill High, we know all about that. Leave it open in case anybody wants to read about Rose Hill High. New Agers, Old Agers, characters, no characters. Close. And space. Once you've made up your mind, press tab and walk up to the next person, or to the person you would like to claim. Okay, so that's how you do that. Can I just kill her? That's all. Hope you enjoy the game. Open the door with the E and step through to begin. Here we go. Come on, sir, gray man. Nobody will ever notice that we are the only mono-colored person in the room. October 18th, 1897. Galicia. Galicia. Fuck. Someone's gonna slap me in the face for pronouncing that wrong. City of Antrim. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh... Okay, that's how you pause, go to my notebook. All right, so can I can I investigate anything? Ooh, what's, what's at the disable? Rose Hill High, devastated. Selden to hold fundraiser. Destroyed playgrounds, broken windows, and political graffiti is what greeted Rose Hill High School principal Ronald Gilchrist when he entered the school grounds on the morning of September 6th. Gilchrist's staunch non-segregation policies, allowing children of both New Agers and Old Agers to be educated in the same classroom appear to be the reason for the attack, judging from the graffiti. They play at being focused on our future, but they're simply beasts, said Principal Gilchrist. Destroying an educational facility is the antithesis of progress no matter how your politics lean. Bill Selden, CEO of Selden Glassware Incorporated, announced a plan to host a charity gala to raise funds for renovating the high school. High-profile guests, including the Thatchers of Gal Media fame, have already expressed interest in attending and providing generous donations. Old Age proponents have noted that Peculiarly, yeah, peculiarly, <laughs> I can say that word, enough Mr. Selden has no children, nor has he ever married, and believe this is to be a sympathy grab by the New Ager upper class. Alright. Let's go on in. Ooh, nice, light, nice music we got going on here. Good day, good day, sir. You appear to be a blacksmith. I will not kill you, because 
you smith black stuff. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Alright. Good evening, Sir Mustache. Good evening. Should I bring you a glass? Franz Cole, a glass of what? We have some fine old casket aged whiskey and scotch, as well as the finest sparkling wine. One will find at this end of Galicia. Wine? Let's see, whiskey, wine, scotch. Do you serve any food? Uh, what do you got? Of course, Gary is on food duty right now. He is the young lad somewhere around here. Catch him for some delicious snacks. I highly recommend the cheese crepes. Oh, yeah. Oh, love me some crepes. Thank you. Something else I wanted to ask you about. Ah, uh, tell me about yourself. My name is Franz, and I am your server extraordinaire for the night. What makes you extraordinaire? I'm prompt and efficient, making you feel like at home. Nay, better than at home. Thank you for your dedication. My pleasure, sir. I understand the importance of proper respect and etiquette. You're a good guy, Franz. Good to hear. In any case, I am your server, and I'm sure my wealth of experience will reflect in my work. Uh... Yeah, you are a formidable server. Thank you. Uh, let's see. So your family's pretty well off? Not sure about that, but they definitely have not complained about lack of money. Not that it matters anymore. The ties are severed. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still not used to talking so much. After I left Trento, I worked odd jobs here and there. Let me tell you, when you work on your own, you will be surprised just how many people waited to exploit you for free labor. Uh, do you work on your own? Yes. I do not join any companies or guilds. Just picking my own clients, so to speak. Working at my own discretion. What kind of jobs do you do? Sounds like a lot of freedom. Freedom! This guy's from America. Even if he doesn't sound like it. America. Working on your own offers a lot of freedom. And challenge. I had to be constantly looking for new opportunities, trying to sell myself a smile when I was offered scraps. If I was offered those, that is. Uh, let's see... How hard was it to find one? Not too hard. Of my skill and growing experience, actually. Finding good work, on the other hand, that was hard. How so? I'm trying not to be a dick to this guy, because he seems alright. It's the beginning of the economic boom. Cities forming. Many rural folks migrating. In short, a lot of cheap labor. A lot of people wanting to get their foot in the door. Why pay someone if you can find ten who will eagerly do it for free? It's terribly inhuman. Indeed. But what do they care? Let's see. Uh, let's ask him, what is New Ager? The wealthy, the progressive, the industrialist, the upper class, all those would fall in the category, but to me, they're just exploitative, money-driven, liberal bigots. You... You're one of those guys that protested, aren't you? You know, you know who I'm talking about. You're part of that 99%, aren't you? I was gonna say, too, a liberal bigot really is kind of a contradiction. Uh. Let's see. I'm gonna ask him that. Did you know, know many of them also push for allowing women to take on the same job as men? Okay. <sighs> Think of the ramifications. Really, man? I was liking you. How's it anything but good? Why, it puts the natural balance completely out of whack. That is the natural balance, you jerk! I don't like you anymore. You or your mustache. You jerk, get out of here. Uh, men are biologically built for harsh labor and physical strain. While women provide better emotional support and family care. It's what you would see in our history across many different cultures. If women prove she could do the same job as a man, well, why not allow her? That isn't always the case. There are many cold women who excel physically. Just, yeah, go with three. I suppose you might have a point. Think about it. I'm sure you'll see the reasoning is right. Perhaps. Perhaps. I need to reconsider. In any case, things would certainly be different if I had some managerial say in them. Now, if only the old ages could learn to use their brains as well. Don't they? The old ages, the other side of the coin. While I can understand their passion for the freak, for the country and fighting against exploitation, it seems like all they ever do is whine and complain or blow things up. Blow things up? Indeed. The Audubon car plant was set on fire just two days after it opened, a few years back, for instance. The Rose Hill School, this whole event has been organized for. Though, granted, both sides have been in each other's throats this way. Let's see. 
Well, that really doesn't get the job done, does it? Exactly, my fair boy. I've complained about to my exploitative employers, but you don't see me setting up bombs at tonight's event. Then what do you do? Worked, proved myself, built a reputation, and now I have more freedom to choose who I work for. If only more people could see that. Exactly, you talk too much. Did you know I actually received pamphlets and letters trying to employ my convenient position in numerous big events for both new agers and old agers? They think a man is so easily bought. Good to see that you stand by your virtues. Ha! Virtues be damned. The risk alone is too grand for the meager, meager benefits of helping the cause and some scrap change. Wait, so you would actually do that if you were paid enough? To be honest, no, not really. As I said, I do not really believe in their ideas. Uh, can I walk away from you? You are a chatterbox. I'm sure everybody is, though. Let's see... If the risks were lesser, perhaps. In any case, I'm afraid I should go cater to some other guests. Come talk to me later if you still have other questions. Have a pleasurable night. Thank you, sir. Alright, Mr. Blacksmith, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, let's see... It's Herschel... How you doing, sir? You, you recovering? It's good to hear. Let's look at this mirror. I wanna look at the mirror. There we go. What do you listen to in your lunch break? Tune in for your daily broadcast with the Thatchers. Yo, Galicia, your news. Not for those dirty immigrant ears. Wow. Racist. Staff store is locked. Perhaps there is a key somewhere. Woo! Let's see what we can find. In this rack. Look through the pockets. Yeah. Women, know your place. It's not in our factories. Wow. This place is terrible. Look through the... No. I'm... No, I'm good. I already looked through Anything else? I see a safe just lying about for no reason that I can't look through. Alright, so we're just gonna continue on back. I already looked at that. Don't need to worry about the books. Hi again, Herschel. What's up, Freddy from Scooby-Doo? You, madam. How do you do? Don't believe I've made your acquaintance. Let me introduce myself proper. Hey, you know what? Go ahead. Ophelia Thatcher. Yes, those Thatchers. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with those thatches. Why well, you must? <clears throat> you know, screw this. I can't. I can't do. I can't do the woman voice. Not right now, at least. I. I got the nasal drip going on. Must not be from Gleesey, indeed. My father is one of the executives of Gal Media Inc., the first company to successfully bring important voices right into the people's homes using the new and revolutionary radio technology. And my mother is the warm, gentle voice behind the broadcast. Ah, I see. That sounds almost rehearsed. Aha! You must imagine. Being their daughter and the up-and-coming prodigy, wow. Fool yourself? It's hardly the first time I give this spiel. But let me backtrack a bit. Please do. Being born as Thatcher has put much expectations on me, as you can imagine. I was lucky enough to be admitted to one of Antrim's top private schools and spend what little time I have left attending many different causes. I got some questions. What does being you entail? Well, for starters, I am seen as a public figure of sorts. Much of my education has to do with basic etiquette, charisma, speaking skills, and appearing as a lady, if you know what I mean. Quite dreary, really. Trust me, I totally know what you mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I am not underestimating the lucky card I drew, but sometimes I feel we are too preoccupied with mere appearances rather than taking action. What kind of action? As I am sure you are aware, these are turbulent times for Glicia. Especially with the five-point plan just on the horizon, adding to the pressure. Uh, let's see... Why are times turbulent? Besides the conflict, sets of violence, and hateful propaganda? Well, this new plan is definitely heating things up. The five-point plan will soon be unveiled by the new Prime Minister, trying to get the New Ager and Old Agers talking again. If both sides approve, it could finally lead to peaceful resolution of the turmoil. I like it! I like it! You got the right idea, girl. Even though I'm pretty sure that you were behind the radio of a very racist man. I do believe I saw a newspaper clipping explaining it all in more detail. If you're curious, suffice to say, a lot hinges on its passing. That uh, sounds pretty important. Exactly. It creates a platform for open, peaceful discussion. And a lot of other things can be brought up on such platforms as well. With the influence of our radio and the Thatcher family's recognition, we could really push for the plan's acceptance and force some more progressive, progressive ideas onto the agenda as well. Hey, that's some clever thinking. Great power. <clears throat> Peter, with great power comes great responsibility. My name's not Peter, sir. Sorry, sorry, different, different world. Exactly. We could 
reshape some of the plane's points for greater benefit of Galicia. A benefit, according to you, sounds like propaganda. Sometimes, when one hasn't got a voice, others must speak for them. Sometimes the public needs its eyes. Its eyes opening. Indeed, we really ought to discuss the problem with those immigrants. Of course! Every last one of you, like right at the very end, I'm like, you're not bad people. Bam. Have you noticed how all the executives and board members have got media and mail? No. Most people don't, which is exactly the problem. Our society would not allow a woman in such a high position, yet we never stop to think why. My mother is just as ambitious and intelligent as my father, yet she will always have to hide in the shadow. But we get to hear her talk all the time, I mean, that's not necessarily a shadow. But if she is just as ambitious and talented, why hasn't she tried to move up? Sorry for the rumbling sound in the background. She may appear strong, but that does not mean she would be able to cope in his shoes. I went with one, by the way, now. She attempted to attend a board meeting once. A puzzled man thought she came to deliver mail of some sort, and was asked to bring back the quarterly reports on the way back. You see, my mother is part of the old generation. The dinosaurs. Those whose minds will not change. As sad as it is, there is little hope for her ever moving up the ranks. But me, I still have a chance. I can shape the new wave. I can bring change, equality, or at least, that's what my mother hopes. You don't seem to believe in yourself. That's the spirit! Well, yes, I suppose so. Um, well, I'm just not sure if that is wise to be more vocal. It's very dangerous to get involved like that. That's right, things are sounding pretty shaky. Why is it dangerous? I'm sure it would be worth the risk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you to do it, girl. You need somebody to kick that booty right out the door, out of the nest. The little bird's gotta fly. You gotta fly, girl. Between the old New Age side, I think you will have enemies, strong enemies, the kind of enemies that don't like powerful female speakers arguing against them. I'm not even sure if Galicia is ready for such abrupt changes just yet. What do you mean that it's not ready? You're right. It's dangerous. But if you don't speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves, who will? I'm gonna keep pushing you. You're gonna become the ruler. Unless I kill you. Or even risking potential backlash from the community. It's not something that can happen overnight. Progressive reform takes a lot of time. You need to wait for the proper moment. Perhaps the proper moment is now. How do you know when the time is right? It's probably not the best time now. Perhaps now. You think so? With all the economic and cultural conflict going on, is it wise to risk further dividing the political scene with more radical social ideas? Yes! That is what we do here in America! And it's worked out well so far. Not really. Needing a violent debate over the future means the political scene is already unstable enough. You should hold off on pushing more radical agendas until a better time. Uh, you should push your agenda and take advantage. Hmm, you've gotten me something to think about. There, you've given me something to think about. Ah, but I mustn't take you from other patrons with my grim subjects on such a hopeful evening. Please do mingle. I'll come back later. See ya, sweetheart. Who's next? Can we go in here? It's locked. Perhaps there's a key somewhere. Ooh, maybe it's in here. For the heinous act of, uh, of animal cruelty shocks and incidents of the Hengfors, the warm morning sun was not enough to protect Mercedes Aguilar from freezing in horror. She turned the corner of the Axley Avenue while taking her young boy to school. The little side street was blocked by a dead peacock with a severed head. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that one. I'll leave you guys to read that for a second. I'm gonna scam it myself. Alright, so the New Agers did the. Peacock surely represents a new ager, removed his head. Whoever the uh, perpetrator is, these bizarre incidents are further dividing the local community. Alright, so killing peacocks, bad move in this town. Country. Let's look in here. Oh my god! Right, let's see, small argument, a local bakery, holiday traditions, new agers. Uh, okay, so that started. It's always something like that. Curves of popularity, enters the political sphere, Ottoman fire, the first ever Galician automobile for a manufacturing plant, extinction bombing, homemade explosives detonated at an old ager house, battle of Trentor, violent protest turned into an uprising, uh, CTFF emerges, five point plan to end riots unsuccessfully proposed, people of progress, the pop new ager organization formed as a response. Ottoman March, Ottoman Factory Workers March on a strike for better pay and benefits seen as distasteful numerous by New Ager figures. Given the two year anniversary, coffin makers of the Pegford refused to make coffins as a statement of solidarity against the violence. Alright. And then Rose Hill High. Nation divided key factions. Following the Baker's Revolt in December 1892, the Old Ager movement emerged with the Cotron Forgotten Coalition as its primary voice. Okay. 
Let's see, top New Age of political figures form the pop. Aiming to promote the progressive and liberal agenda. While diplomatic on the surface, numerous unconfirmed rumors have been recently emerging linking the leaders to numerous organizations or organized acts of violence dating as far back as the 1893's extinction bombings. <sighs> it's been, however, often criticized for its New Ager bias, lobbied by strong pro New Ager figures such as the Thatchers of Gal Media Frame. I really should have brought a drink with me for this game. Right, let's look here. Ooh, I found a key. Yeah, let's take that bitch. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, we're going in. We unlock the key. Someone's gonna catch me, right? Let's look under here. Uh, in here. Is your child school breeding old ages? Would you let your child play with backwards Philistines? Would you teach them traditionalist propaganda? Would you cripple their potential? Then why allow a school to do that? Boycott Rose Hill High. Don't let your children mix with old ages. Message from the pop. Yeesh. You people. You guys are ridiculous. Alright, let's look at the safe. Aw, oh, it's a picture of somebody's child. 